so how do you distribute your content out there? Uh, I've had a couple people kind of notice, thankfully, uh, that we actually put out, or I put, well, okay, let me, first of all, a confession. It's not me personally putting all this content out. I have a team helping me uh, do this. Uh, obviously, a shout out to Jade, who's the um, my, my sort of uh, chief content uh, officer in all of this. She does an amazing job. Uh, so I've been asked, what we actually do. So uh, the majority of it is actually fairly manual. Uh, we, w the automated side of it, um, we use to push content out to Facebook, our Facebook page and Twitter. Uh, we use Meet Edgar. And uh, so basically all the content that you see on our Facebook pages and the Twitter pages, that's going out uh, automated. Okay, and so basically, like if you've ever used any of those services, it's kind of like a bucket with a hole in the bottom. So you, you kind of put all your content in there and then it kind of just flows out as a stream at the bottom and that's pretty much the way to do it. Uh, the rest of it is actually a very manual process. So we've got uh, Instagram, we've got uh, YouTube, uh, we have Medium, we have Quora, um, uh, we have Vero, we have Telegram, we have WhatsApp, uh, I know I have others because I've only counted eight and I think we're on 13. Um, all of those actually go out manually. And so what what actually happens is um, Jade will oversee operations uh, to put that content out there. Uh, in terms of when, you know, because obviously when you're going out on 13 channels, you actually get a lot of, um, and I would recommend any business to be doing this, um, when you go out on that, you obviously get a lot of the replies back. Now, all of our content is purely based on me as a person. Um, so, you know, our strategy right now is is that. So when the replies come in, uh, I see those replies and I respond to them. Now, uh, on certain platforms, we get a lot of um, uh, like private messages. Um, I don't always answer those. Uh, sometimes uh, the team will answer them if it's something that's fairly generic that they can answer. But nine times out of 10, that's that's what we're doing. Uh, right now, we are publishing, uh, including the podcast as well, uh, we have just, um, we have just peaked over 100 separate pieces of content every day. And you need a team to do that. And that's, a, it's actually quite a feat to get to that. Now, one of the things I know uh, that we have received criticism for, not because of anybody, not from them reading the content, but there's the claim of like, oh, well, you know, you've got to, you've got to value quality, you know, over quantity. And, and that is absolutely right. However, that is also one of the biggest excuses that I see for you actually not doing it. So here's the thing when you put in like, you know, some of those, some of that content, some of that hundred pieces of content are image quotes, okay? Those image quotes generate an awful lot of traffic to some of the bigger content pieces we do. So where's the, where's the, where's the, the quality there in the image post? It's, it's not, it's an image post. It's because I think at the base level, you know, you know, we're, we're kind of like, we're kind of all like goldfish. We have like a three second attention span. We're kind of flipping through our feeds and this, that, and the other. I've only got like a fraction of a second to capture your attention. And so, you know, the image posts, the tweets and things like that are designed to just be there. Hopefully when you're scrolling through, you see it and go, oh, that's interesting. Click. Now you can see the content. So the base and the foundational content that I end up creating is, um, uh, you know, obviously that is, you know, we've got to make sure that the quality is there across all of it. But a lot of this, the problem is I'm trying to get above the noise and you as a company owner, uh, you know, and anybody that's running a business that watches this, you guys are in the same uh, position. You've got to get above that noise that's in your field. Now, depending what field you're in is depending how much noise there is. Now, obviously, you know, I predominantly run a marketing company. We have a consulting firm, but that kind of, we don't really market that as such because it kind of generally just runs from referral. So it's, we have no real need to do that. But the marketing company is that's a very crowded space. I mean, you know, pretty much every man and his dog claim to be a marketing agency nowadays. So, you know, 
I've got to produce that content to go out there. So that's how we do it. We actually use automation uh, in terms of me, Edgar, and um, you know, to do Facebook and Twitter. Uh, we use Dropbox to centralize all the video content. Uh, and then we also use, uh, I should have mentioned this, we also use Trello as well. Trello we actually use, I should probably do a video on that to show how I use that. Um, as the team's growing, uh, we're finding we're, we're more and more relying on that. We use Trello to, uh, to actually organize the content and to mark where it all needs to go and pass it through because what's happening is that as, as the content's increasing and more people are involved in that process, uh, there, there's more steps from us creating it to it being distributed. You know, whereas it used to just be, as I would create it, I would distribute it, so there was literally just the one step. Um, and then obviously I got the team involved. So now that there's, you know, content being created, then you know, thank goodness, uh, you know, <laughs> Jade corrects a lot of my spelling and grammar because I can't write for anything. Um, those are an extra couple steps. And then, you know, actually distributing it out, there's normally a couple steps in addition to that. Plus there's all the login as well. So uh, Trello is actually really handy for that. Um, so, it, you know, if anybody here or anybody watching the video is happy to share how they distribute their content out, I'd be really interested to know. Uh, that's how we're doing it. You know, we're actually uh, just crossing the 100 pieces a day now, um, and that's not where we're stopping. Our goal is to get higher. And, you know, and this isn't on about going out there to spam. It's the reality is that what we're trying to do is every single thing that we do as an agency like every way that we do Facebook advertising, how we retarget on Google, how we do display advertising, we're literally going, we're putting out there exactly what we do. One, I'm not holding anything back. I'm holding no proprietary secrets back. We're putting everything out there. And the reality is that most of those platforms are changing what works every few months. And so if I put out, like as an example, uh, you know, I had, um, you know, uh, I had a, a process for uh, Facebook pages that was about a year old. Uh, since that time, I've done five different revisions to that. So, you know, the, the, in terms of content, it's always changing. It's always going out there. So if you've got any uh, ways that you do it, I'd really be interested to know. And uh, like I said, I hope, you know, what I've explained here is going to help people uh, you know, sort of get their content out more. Uh, if you've got any other questions, you know, ask them in the comments below or you can message me. Uh, you know, you can pretty much get hold of me any way you want. All right. Uh, thanks a lot.